human emotional and intuitive wisdom is damaged. We live in an era in which our perception of life is increasingly rational. We spend more and more time isolated from the world around us. Consequently, the connection between our body and mind is unbalanced. What if we could externalize our inner world and not just experience it with our body and senses but also make it tangible to others? So I came up with the idea of the YWO World In, World Out Motion Project, which is a five-dimensional experience in which users can create an in a connection between the internal and external world by creating a visible, tangible and habitable environment involving their intuition and their senses, thus transcending the barriers of the emotional space. The dynamic of the experience is that users create a custom environment from a particular combination of objects and then interact physically in the space created, simultaneously with other users. For the experience to be more immersive, during the tour players will be exposed to factors such as changes in temperature, wind, fragrances and small splashes of water. The concept of this experience is based on the psychological therapy called sound play, developed by the analyst Dora Koth. It consists in a patient creating a concrete manifestation of his or her imaginary world using sound, water and miniature objects. According to a theory of the therapy, when a person needs to choose an element, from a wide variety of options, it is the unconscious who speaks out and makes the decision, creating an external and tangible image of the inner and the unconscious mind. For the development of this experience, I chose similar categories of figures used in the sample therapy, taking into account the importance of having large options. In addition, I have included groups related to our five senses looking for an immersive experience, and a couple more that in my opinion are fundamental for a more fun and visually attractive environment. I think the YWO Motion Project has possible future applications in a broader community of practice as an art installation if focusing on the senses and the experience itself, an immersive game if looking for a more sensorial experience, or a new version of the sound play therapy. With further research and tests, we could develop a virtual version of the sandbox and the figures, saving time, space and money to the therapies. Also, with this project I want to invite people in the creative industry to let go and guide by their intuition, since our inner being contains an incredible wisdom and knowledge.